In another tutorial in this series, we covered how subtracks can be used to play a single randomly or sequentially selected track from a pool of available tracks. However, it's also possible for the game to directly control which subtracks should play based on gameplay. This can be accomplished with a special type of track called a switch track. To see how this works, we'll configure a switch track so that in the cube demo game, as the player's health declines, the electric guitar parts will become more intense, letting the player know they need to find some health. Note that to understand how switch tracks function, you also need to have a basic understanding of switch groups, so refer to the WISE 101 video series to review that. In this project, we already have the electric guitar parts configured as a sequence step music track. And this makes it very easy to convert it to a switch music track that can respond to changes in a switch group. Now the idea is that as the player's health deteriorates, we want to hear more intense guitar parts. Uh, to see what we have to work with, let's go ahead and solo up the guitar track, and then we'll force usage on this first track, and when we play it, we obviously hear nothing since there's no clip there. That's what we want to hear when the player is healthy, is no guitar part at all. When the player first gets injured, we want to start hearing guitar parts uh, build with intensity. A little chunking part as the player gets a little bit more hurt. Guitar part intensifies when the player is most hurt. We hear the most intense guitar part. Now, to change this to a switch track, uh, we just right click and choose switch. And we can see that the subtrack colors change from green, signifying a sequence step music track, to yellow, which indicates a switch music track. Now we need to indicate which switch group will act upon the switch music track. This project already has a switch group representing the major stages of the player's health. In the music track property editor, we'll click the group selector button, and then we want a switch group, which in this case is in the music work unit, and we'll choose health status. And so now we need to pick which switch will be the default in the event that no information regarding the health is received from the game. Here we'll choose healthy. So now we're ready to associate which switch should correlate to which subtrack. In the music segment editor, we just right click on the first subtrack and we choose association. And when, we, uh, the, when the player's healthy, that's when we don't want to hear a guitar part at all. In the next subtrack, the association will be when the player gets a flesh wound. Third subtrack, the association will be when the player is badly injured. And the most intense guitar part will come when the player is nearly dead. Now let's test this. In the transport, uh, we can see the health status uh, in the switches uh, area, and we can choose healthy. Now we shouldn't hear any guitar part play now, which is the case. Now the player first gets injured, has a flesh wound, guitar chunks come in, and then they get a little bit more hurt. The guitar part builds, and when they're nearly dead, the most intense guitar part plays. Our switch is working great. Currently a switch track doesn't transition to a different subtrack until the next defined transition point, which is by default set to the exit cue. Let's take a listen. Let's go ahead and set the player's health to flesh wound. We'll play. And now let's say the player gets hurt a little bit more and now transitions to uh, badly injured. Yeah, we're not hearing the part change unless we stop and go back and play the object again. So we'll need to hear the transition much sooner in order to provide the audible feedback to the player in a meaningful way. To adjust this, we'll need to go to the Transitions tab in the Music Track Property Editor. The Transitions tab is a very powerful editing tool that provides numerous options for how and when music transitions between segments and playlists. This is controlled with the use of something called a trans uh, transition rule, and the list of these rules uh, can get quite long. The idea for this is covered more deeply in the Music Transition tutorial but for now, we only need to work with the default rule that occupies the first line. 
It says any to any. When used within a switch music track, this single rule is by default saying that when you're transitioning from any subtrack to any other subtrack, don't transition until the currently playing subtrack reaches the exit cue. We can see that here. We need to modify the rule so that the transition can happen earlier. So we'll select the any to any uh, row and then adjust the source to say at the next bar. Now the transition will happen as soon as the next downbeat occurs. Let's try this again. We'll start with the player with a flesh wound and play. And then they'll transition to being uh, badly injured. Yeah, now we hear the transition occur much more quickly. While the transition is now working, in some cases it might feel a bit abrupt in transitioning from one guitar part to another. It would be helpful to have a crossfade when transitioning between the various guitar tracks. This can be accomplished with the fade features. Here we can click the fade out as we exit the source uh, track, uh, and if we click edit, we can adjust what the fade out time is. We'll set this to 0.5 seconds. And then you can see that the image is indicating that the sound will fade out just before it exits, which in this case would be on the downbeat of a measure. Now that means we might lose kind of the intensity of the final beat. Uh, and so to play it safe, we can set an offset. If we set the offset to 0.5 seconds, that means the fade out won't occur until the transition to the next beat actually begins. Now we can do the same thing uh, fading in to whatever the destination track is that we're going to. If we click the fade in checkbox, click edit, we can set a fade in time of 0.5 seconds. And then similar idea here, we want to hear the first beat of the, of the part that we're going into. And so if we set an offset of negative 0.5 seconds, this will ensure that happens. Now let's take a listen. Yeah, we'll go and play the badly injured music. And now let's transition to nearly dead. All right, nice smooth transition.